Chapter 9, The Serious Love A few banquets passed before the courtesan's procession, and today was the fifth day. I was once again walking to Yoshiwara today. Though Yoshiwara displayed its usual crowds, the rumors from the people reached my ears. Did you hear about Kikuya? I heard there was a great gentleman replacing the top gentleman to cow. Isn't that the green-eyed Tokiwasama? I heard he's had a big extravagant banquet every night. He must be such a handsome guy. I'd like to see him even if it's just a glimpse. Talk of the banquet spread all over Yoshiwara, making Tokiwasan and Kikuya more famous. I then left that place and rushed to Kikuya. When I got to Kikuya, the entrance was surrounded by spectators. Were they trying to see Tokiwa-san? I made my way through the crowd of people and went inside Kikuya. Well, well, Kana-san, I've been expecting you tonight, too. The inside of Kikuya was also crowded, and Aroha welcomed me in a very good mood. There are so many people here. I pulled a few tricks to spread the rumors, but all of this is thanks to your help, Kanasan. As manager of Kikuya, I have no words to express my deep gratitude. Just then, I heard the sound of footsteps from upstairs. Kana! You're late! Tokiwa-san shouted in a high-spirited voice and came down to the entrance. Female client A, anyone? Uh, I don't know, like, I already did two females. Oh, oh, what beautiful eyes! They're just as I saw in the Ukiya E painting! Ukiya -e. Wow, you kind of look a lot like my friend Takao! <laughs> I'm not Takao with a giant wig on! I oh, I, I need to go! Gasp of admiration out of the mouths of the clients that saw Tokiwa-san. Tokiwa-san covered my ears with his hands. Thanks to your help, this has become a very large rumor. Now it seems like our plan will go well. Tokiwa-san grinned proudly. Well, the banquet has already been prepared for today, so please come to the parlor room. Yes, and so I was taken to the parlor room. A famous dancer was called for today's banquet, and it was truly gorgeous. Kana, you drink sake smoothly. Why don't you have one more? Togiwa-san poured sake into my empty cup. Thank you. Surrounded by many gentlemen, the banquet went on in an extravagant manner tonight, too. As the banquet hit its climax, the sliding door was opened with a flash. Everyone naturally looked at the door. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm coming in. Takao-san was entering the parlor room, accompanied by young boys. Takao, why are you coming here with all of these people? Hi, well, Puppy. I'm not coming in here to complain. It's alright for me to stay here a bit, right? Takao Stan touched his chin to sign for something, and following this, the young boys waited behind him, put out sweets from overseas one by one in each seat. Toki Wasan opened his eyes widely in reaction to this unexpected turn of events. What? What is this? The rumors of you have grown quite a bit, so these gifts are from me. I don't trust that shit. From you? Well, that's pretty rare. Hmm. <laughs> it's originally because I insist on doing things my way. Your level is still far behind me, but if the rumors are this big, I can't ignore that. Takao, you always say more than needs to be said. You do too! Takao Sand smoked his pipe in high spirits and sent a flirtatious glance my way. <laughs> Miss, for you to raise him up to a man of this level, that makes you a good woman. Well, enjoy! Sorry to bother you guys. This seems fishy and I don't think I believe it. I don't think I do. What? Can't Takao just do something nice? Nope. After he finished saying what he wanted to say, Takao-san left the parlor room. What was that? It feels weird for him to acknowledge my superiority. 
Togiwa-san scratched his cheek with his nails like he felt itchy, but he did look happy somehow. I guess he has a good side too. It's great that he acknowledged you, and you can't lose! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can't lose uh, is the correct choice here. You can't lose. It's great that he yeah. acknowledged you. Yeah, I, I think it's great that he acknowledged you. I think you can't lose. You can't both lose. Good. Oh, that that seems bad. Well, it depends. Like, are they going to say, "Well, you can't lose. You're the best." Or it's like, "You can't lose. You got to be doing better." You're getting better and better. You can't lose now. Yeah. I'll show him that he can't sit back like he has time to spare anymore. Really, this is all thanks to you, Kana. As long as I can help you, that's enough for me. He gave us these rare sweets, and this is a banquet, so let's enjoy ourselves. His well, that's true, but... <laughs> his name tag is gone! He forgot his name! He is Who a nobody! Again? Tokyo-san suddenly lowered his voice That's it. and brought his face close to my ear. I actually want to be alone with you now, Kana. He showed me an alluring smile and then slowly entangled his fingers with mine. T tokyo san I felt my cheeks becoming hot and quickly looked down. We finished the banquet after midnight and then tokyo san and I decided to go to bed. As soon as we went to bed, tokyo san hugged me tightly. Tokiwa-san. He put his nose into my collarbone, which tickled me and made my body squirm. <laughs> it's finally just the two of us. I like the crowds of the banquet, but spending time alone with the woman I love is the best. Sorry, one sec. I'm frozen again. Puppy! Oh my gosh, dogs. Puppy! Hi, Puppy! Hi! Well, Hi, miss. Puppy! Can they hear me? Yelling Hi, at the puppies. <laughs> Hi! I like puppies. Uh, Tokiwa-san carried me in his arms and put me down on the bed. We sat down, shoulder to shoulder, and our lips were naturally drawn together into a quiet kiss. <laughs> Kana, your face is bright red. It's cute. As he smiled at close distance, I couldn't look away from his beautifully shining green eyes. Even though we've seen each other so many times, you're still innocent, Kana. I'm happy. He kissed my cheek lightly. I love this person. My heart started to beat faster and faster. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something to give you today, Kana. Tokyo san searched his chest pocket and pulled out a small package. What is that? <laughs> what do you think? He put it into my hand and then covered my hand with his hand. There you go. A present from me to you. I still haven't said thanks for the hairpin you gave me before. A present? What's inside? Open it. Yes. After he said that, I opened the fabric. This is... Inside of the package, there was... Where did he... Where did his kimono go? <laughs> the kimono's off. Business what time kimono? is off. Inside of the package, there was a bracelet made from small, clear, shining pieces of jade. It's beautiful. And these stones, they're the same color as Tokyo san's eyes. Yes, I especially ordered them from the mainland. I think you meant specially ordered. The color of my eyes. Kana, if you said you like it, then I feel it's not oh, a bad thing. That's cute. Do you like it? Thank you. I love this color so much. It's the same colors as the eyes of Tokiwa-san, who I love so much. <laughs> when you say that, it makes me feel a little embarrassed, though. I will put it on you, Kana. Please, put out your hand. Yes. I felt excited to put my hand out. Tokiwa san put the bracelet on me with his skillful fingers. And voila! Tokiwa san took my hand after that, and he put my hand up close to his face. 
It's cute. Mm. <laughs> Help. He pushed his lips to my palm. The soft touch of his lips made my heart skip a beat. When you compare them closely, they look like a matching pair, right? His green eyes and the bracelet stones shined with the same light under the lantern. <laughs> they do. Tokiwa-san's eyes were more beautiful, though. That's what I thought. I want to paint you with more of my color, Kana. I want to touch you like this and kiss you. I want you to become mine now. His lips traced a line from the palm of my hand to my wrist that shined with jade. Uh, Tokiwa-san. His half-open lips that traced my thin skin and his green eyes. I could see a fragment of lust hidden deep inside those eyes. Men are vile creatures. I said I didn't want to hurt you, but I still want to sleep with you. His eyes that stared at me swayed with confusion and lust. I imagined that he was trying not to hurt me, but I felt impatient with his kindness. The seventh day was soon approaching. After the courtesan's procession ended, I wouldn't be able to see him again. Kana. Uh, I wished he could take me away if possible. I want him to drive this burning, vivid memory into my heart. T Tokiwa san. I gently put my body into Tokiwa san's. Kana. Serious love is scary. A single word from you drives me crazy. Suddenly, Tokiwa san pushed my body down to the bed, and he kissed me in the deepest way that I've ever known. Mmm, Kana. His kiss was incredibly deep. It was as if he were searching everything inside my mouth. <laughs> then how did I say your name? Wow. I know, right? Yeah. It's like bad kiss etiquette, bro. <laughs> Step one. It was like he just about forgot how to breathe. He devoured me like a starving animal. <clears throat> Tokiwa san wanted me. In my entire life up until now, has someone ever wanted my being this much? Mmm, Kana. He covered my cheeks with both of his hands and called my name with a hot sigh. The man who was longingly calling my name. The man who I fell in love with. Why was he a captive gentleman? Mmm. His beautiful hair and face was a mess now. But he didn't care at all, and his lips still wanted me passionately. But the time when I would have to say goodbye was approaching. He had me caught like I was in a spider's web. The more he wanted me, the more I didn't want to leave him. As he devoured my lips, Tokiwa-san's long fingers rolled up the end of my clothing. <laughs> I know where this is going! Oops, I pressed the wrong thing. Uh, with skillful movements, he started to trace over my thighs. The image of his wh white, well-maintained fingers suddenly came into my mind. Mmm, Kana. Your, your lines are super creative, Tyler. Man, so creative. <laughs> I've only said this, what, five times? Anyone want me to keep a count? <laughs> the hand Actually, of the... it's been four, but yes. Yeah, yeah, there you go. The hand of the person that I love so much was crawling on my skin. It's hot. His hands were burning hot. The wet sound of her kiss and the dry sounds of her clothes rubbing, these were melting in the quiet darkness. He didn't do more than that. He was just tracing over my body with his hands. But it seemed like that was enough to make my heart melt. Mm. New line! <laughs> <laughs> I wondered how long it was that he wanted me. My lips were released, and we were both breathed roughly and repeatedly. <sighs> Kana, mmm. <laughs> now it's just funny. <laughs> it just flipped around. Oh my god. He stared Can at me. Can we increase the count number on that one? Yes. <laughs> he stared at me with eyes that longingly scanned me over. I didn't want to leave him. I, I didn't want to leave him. I said the same words many times in my mind. Indeed. What happened to me? Huh? When our skin overlaps like this, Kana, I feel like I'm not myself. 
Tokiwa-san. I was also thinking only of Tokiwa-san every day. If not, then why will this goodbye be so painful? I feel so lonely when morning comes. I'm Tokiwa-sama who spent countless nights with women. But I always feel that I don't want you to go home, Kana. But no matter how much I struggle, I can't go outside of the red light district. I wish I could have met you in a different way. If he wasn't a gentleman of the night, if we could have met somewhere else other than this island, then would I not have to feel these painful emotions? It sounds depressing, doesn't it? We'll be okay, because you can buy me every night like this, Kana. Ooh. There are no problems. No problems Above whatsoever. that. Tokiwa-san, yeah. who didn't know the truth, hugged me and smiled a little. I couldn't say anything. I looked away from Tokiwa-san's glance and looked down slightly. What's wrong? I'm sorry, please just stop dot dot. Oh. oh, this the sounds infamous... like it's gonna go heartbreaking no matter which way you go. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry, I think is the correct answer. I think dot dot dot. Oh, think dot dots. dot dot is the keep quiet answer. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry is the Canadian answer. <laughs> it is. Canadian. Yeah, eh? This? Elk is a Canadian. <laughs> he believed it. He totally believed that in seven days. When the banquets were over, I would come and see him again. It's like I was deceiving him, wasn't I? You suddenly become quiet. What's wrong? I knew it. You didn't like what I did to you. No, that's not it. That's not what I mean. Kana? Of course I couldn't tell him. I wasn't from a rich family at all. I couldn't tell him. And on the seventh night, I headed to Kiklia while holding complicated feelings in my heart. I went End down, chapter. I went down the main street and stopped in front of Kiklia. Within the red painted gates, gentlemen displayed their beauty. Of course, Tokiwasen, whom I bought for the night, wasn't there. <sighs> Tokiwasen. When I saw the gentlemen within the gates here for the first time, I just I just thought they were beautiful. I didn't know that it meant they were captive. I wished to be touched. The gentleman within those gates must have pain. I shouldn't have touched him so easily. Even if I could let a canary out to the sky, I couldn't guarantee what would happen afterwards. <sighs> After this night ended, I wouldn't be able to meet Tokiwa-san anymore. Even though Tokiwa-san didn't know the truth, I made up my mind and entered Kikuya. My final night had just begun. And chapter. That's the way to end the chapter. That was a nice read, if I do say so myself. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh.